The Center for Soft Matter Research is dedicated first and foremost to uncovering nature's funda fundamental organizing principles. How do things go together? And the way we attack that huge question is by selecting particular model systems whose behavior exemplifies uh, one of the processes we're trying to understand. A prime example is a system called uh, colloidal dispersions. So colloids are small chunks of stuff dispersed in a fluid. So the stuff could be anything. It could be a red blood cell, it could be a uh, paint pigment, it could be the fat droplets in milk. Uh, it turns out that we have techniques for producing beautifully spherical colloidal particles, all the same size, all of the same properties. They stack together wonderfully like the atoms in a crystal. And you can watch these individual tiny little particles move uh, using conventional techniques like light microscopy. So uh, in a sample that's not much bigger than a drop of milk, in a sample that in fact looks very much like a drop of milk, you can explore the processes by which atoms and molecules organize themselves into crystals and understand that process from a microscopic point of view, all the time watching the action unfold, essentially on TV, watching the Collard Channel. <laughs> Another model system that we study extensively are um, polymer melts and polymer solutions. So polymers are long strand molecules that show up throughout our technology, uh, paints, plastics, all, uh, all sorts of technologies are based on, on polymers. At the Center for Soft Matter Research, we have uh, a new facility for producing polymers to order whose properties are tailored to uh, explore the processes by which these long-stranded molecules organize themselves into, again, hierarchies of structure and therefore hierarchies of function. Some of the immediate applications of, of these structure-forming molecules include medical applications such as critical care for people who have been electrocuted, templating the growth of new teeth for people who would like to replace a missing or broken tooth. Uh, templating the repair of broken bones. So all of these self-organizing polymers have immediate applications, but they also show us how such molecules do their magic, how it is they, they uh, create structure in, in nature. So the wow factor for me, the, the thing that I see on a day-to-day -day basis that, that makes me stop and think, it's an amazing world we live in, uh, it's, it's not, not the, the, the big, enormous explosions <laughs> that we typically associate with, with physics. It's, it's not the mind-bending paradoxes. It's the, the fact that very, very ordinary, everyday experiences can still stump us as scientists. So a droplet of water snapping off from a faucet, that the process by which the droplet snaps off, not understood. It's surprising. You'd think it would be something that has been in the can for a long time now. Uh, but the equations of motion that describe fluid flow don't allow for a droplet to snap off from a larger body. Uh, that singularity is not understood. You're looking at small things that are behaving in a complicated fashion. And your brain is, is wonderful at seeing patterns emerge from the complexity. So in looking at, at your experiment doing its, uh, doing its thing, you'll see patterns. You see patterns all the time. And the question is, what are you, what are you triggering on? What, what is it that you've noticed? Uh, if you look at the evolution of whatever phenomenon it is you're looking at uh, in the right way, then simplicity emerges. Well, it turns out you think about the process enough, certain mathematical constructs present themselves. And when you see that, that the order parameter that you've chosen brings the phenomenon to life, then you know you're onto something, that you're looking at something. The, the data, the, the images, the, the, the vision is leading you toward a deeper truth about how these processes actually work. The analysis is where the magic is. Then the idea is to collect all of these disparate bits of information and grind the truth out of them. <laughs> and uh, that process involves a whole lot of creativity.